Hello, my Wiley artists. Today we're making a jellyfish. Woohoo! I'm having fun being a jellyfish too. Let's get started, but first, let's learn a little bit about them. Jellyfish. Jellyfish have existed for millions of years. They were on Earth even before the dinosaurs. They live in oceans around the world in both warm and cold waters. Jellyfish can be all kinds of colors. Blue, pink, yellow, purple, and clear. Some of them even produce their own light. That's right, some jellyfish can glow. Jellyfish look a little like umbrellas, and they can be big or small. Clear jellyfish can be hard to spot in the ocean, but they're there. Jellyfish are invertebrates, which means they don't have a spine. They also don't have a brain, eyes, heart, or any other bones. They have a mouth in the center of their body that they use to eat food and discard waste. Jellyfish like to ride the currents of the ocean most of the time. But sometimes to move, they squirt water out of their mouth, which propels them forward. Jellyfish can have long tentacles, and those tentacles can have stinging cells inside of them. This makes them able to stun their prey so they can eat it. Jellyfish can live in shallow or deep waters and can come very close to the shore at the beach. You may have seen one before. But if you see a jellyfish, be sure to give it space. Their stings are very painful. Ouch! Jellyfish don't purposely attack humans, but sometimes we accidentally bump into them while playing in the ocean. Jellyfish are awesome. What's your favorite thing about jellyfish? Thanks for watching. Okay, we have all of our supplies in front of us. I chose to use a pink piece of construction paper, but whatever you have, that was in your kit, please go ahead and do so and use whatever color you want. Okay, take your piece of chalk. We're gonna start with our paper, <clears throat> excuse me, vertical. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle of the paper and we're gonna go down a little bit. We're gonna make a big jellyfish. So make a line, kind of like you're gonna start a rainbow or a sideways C, just like that. It be any size you want. Try to make it a little bit bigger. And then do some squiggle lines underneath, just like that. Now you're gonna color in your jellyfish, but you can leave some construction paper color showing through. So if you notice here, I'm not pressing too hard. I'm just doing it really light all around my shape here. Just like that, try to stay within your lines. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is take one of your fingers and you're gonna smear your chalk. Try to keep it within your design or your shape of your jellyfish and smear it all in there. And you can see some of the color showing through. It's kind of like a get see-through transparent a little bit so go ahead and try to get as much as the ends as you can I'm gonna use my pinky get a little bit more control there now we're gonna work on the tentacles now I'm just gonna make some wavy lines some different sizes and lengths for this one 
there, pretty simple jellyfish. Okay, now I'm gonna do another one on the side. I'll go up here on this. I'm gonna turn my paper a little bit because jellyfish kind of swim all different ways. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did on my big one. Make my rainbow start shape. Make my line underneath. I'm gonna do the same thing, color it lightly. And this time I think for the tentacles, I am going to make some shapes. So I'm gonna make some zigzag lines, but I'm gonna connect them and seal them off. So just like this, so just like I started my other, my first one. But now I'm gonna do the same shape on the other side, but I'm gonna close that shape off just like that. You can draw your jellyfish any way you want. Just make sure that you smear that middle. Show what your chalk can really do. Okay. Now I'm gonna make some fish. I'm gonna make two fish up here. So again, we're gonna start with our little tiny rainbow. Start our design and we're gonna do an upside down rainbow and we're gonna close that shape off. And then let's make kind of like a V for his tail. Close that off. And a fin. And a fin. There are several ways you can make fish. You just go ahead and make it any way you want. I'm gonna do one more fish. Just because I know that undersea adventures have a whole bunch of fun animals. Make one more. Now let's do a ocean floor. So I'm gonna do kind of like a bumpy line. And I'm gonna show that the floor is maybe in back of this. So you see I'm not going all the way through my tentacles, I'm just kind of skipping through it and I'm gonna have it look like that. So our jellyfish looks like he's in front. Okay, let's take your black crown. We're gonna add some plants to our ocean floor. So my first one, I'm just gonna make a line up with my black crown right on top of my construction paper, just like that and stop where that ocean floor meets and just make some lines going down and connect another set of lines going up. So it kind of looks like little V's going all the way down. Kind of gives us the illusion of seaweed or other kind of plants that are in the ocean. Now this next one, I went all the way down. It kind of looks like this big guy might be even in front of our jellyfish. This is showing space. It's showing that we've got some plants behind our jellyfish. Some are in front, behind. We've got some big ones, we've got some little ones. And again, you can make these little Vs and they kind of just give a little bit of detail. And if you've got different color chalk, if you, have, you wanna use different color crayons, you certainly can do that. Let's put one more right here. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my chalk again and I'm gonna add a bunch of bubbles. In the ocean, the ocean creates tons of bubbles. Jellyfish creates bubbles, our fish, our plants. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add a ton of And I only have two jellyfish. Feel free to have more jellyfish, more regular fish, more seaweed. This is your wonderful art project. So go ahead and finish up. Don't forget to sign it. And show me those underwater seas.
That was so much fun learning jellyfish with you all and making an undersea adventure. Till next time, friends. Bye-bye for now. Whee!